It's the first weekend of autumn, and the NFL is in full swing as off we go on EA Sports. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. First plays a run with Nwangu. Oh, he faked it with a juke. Now he's got some room. And they worked this well on field across the 45. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. Opening quarter, his opening carry of the game, and I think they'll give it to him a few more times, as they should. You're exactly right about that. With that type of a run, you want to repeat it many times until they show signs of stopping it. I think he did his visualization exercises before this one, and they're paying off. A running play here on first down is going to go nowhere as he is tackled behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty straightforward play there by the linebacker. He saw the run, went with straight-ahead pursuit, and dumped him behind the line of scrimmage. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. Fields. That's caught by the big tight end, T.J. Hawkinson. And he will go out right near the 35-yard line. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. On the move to his left. We're going back to the same well. It's Hawkinson again. And he'll have a gain of three to the 33. You talk about this Falcon defense. Now, this unit, very tough to throw against. Currently second best in the NFL. And I'm struggling a little bit trying to really categorize this crew. They're top ten in the league against the pass. But the bottom half taking it right down Broadway. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. On first down, it's Fields. Escaping the pressure right. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds, right around the 7. The improv on the scramble there gets him 6, and it'll be second down. I did like his decision-making there to make sure they picked up something instead of forcing a throw. Now they've got more manageable play coming up to try and pick up the first down, and don't rule out the possibility that he just keeps it and runs again. And he will score! Touchdown! Kene Nwangu, halfway to 100 now with career touchdown number 50. And the Vikings put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. The extra point splits the uprights, and that makes the score 7-0. Minnesota's kick team ready, and the Vikings boom it away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. So they get that one, Charles, on the right tackle. Yeah, oftentimes in that spot, you're trying to work against a defender, trying to set the edge in the running game, and you're trying to drive around and get your body twisted so that he can't get there. Sometimes your hands get too involved.
Now a quick throw into the hands of Jefferson. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that will bring up second down. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. Clocked down at three, and we're going to get a timeout here. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Second and 13. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw, eluding the pressure right. And off balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. The punt team on now as Pinion sends this one away. Well, on that punt, we've got a man shaken up. Well, they come out and take a look at him. Step aside for just a moment. Here we go. go. On first down, Fields. Complete. Jefferson to target. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he get a good head of steam going. There he goes, left side. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. 75 yards rushing for him now as he has gotten the night off to a hot start. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. You got it. You got it. Uh, Why not? Looking to throw on second down. Fields. Forced out to his left. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Here is third and five. 
Field's going to change things up here. On play action, they'll throw. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down just inside the 20 at the 19. Now the Vikings will send out the special teams crew here for a field goal try. It'll be from the right hash, and it'll be a 36-yarder. And his kick is indeed good. So another scoring drive there, Charles, and an early two-score lead. You'd like the six there, partner, but you'll take the three, and I think they have to be happy about the way they moved the ball in these first two drives. They have to feel good about their opportunities the rest of the game. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons offense at the line. They'll look to get something started. They need to down 10-0 early as they've got it first and 10. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He was taken down behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of a yard brings up second and 11. 10-0 the score after one on EA Sports. the end of the first quarter with the score Vikings 10. Back now in Atlanta, second quarter action. The Falcons with the football as they've got it second down and 11. Well, you got to think, Charles, that one's on the quarterback because everybody was up at the line of scrimmage. He just didn't call for the snap in time. Yeah, I think he needs a little bit better awareness out there because you got to know when the clock's in single digits and either snap it or get a timeout on, called if you have one. Black shot. Fight, fight. Fight, fight. Here's Ritter. Flush to his right. They'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three, but now it's third down. They made a nice effort to stick it with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. down at 13. Drill green. And here comes throw number one for the backup QB. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A big play there as they get the conversion on third and 13. Now that's all about making something happen as a quarterback because instead of forcing something on third down, how about him buying some time outside of the pocket, waiting for someone to come open? And when he did, he put it on him for a big play and a first down. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. Umpire through the flag usually always indicates holding, and that's what we've got. And you know, depending on their positioning, where you are on the field, the umpires get different responsibilities, but always, always making sure no one's holding. Here we go. Back. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. Hey, check mega. Ready? Robinson gets the toss on the right side. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Call it a gain of 12, but of course not a first down due to the previous penalty. This is second and eight. Six. 
to throw Ritter flushed out right and a big loss here as he's taken down multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game all about the offense so far this drive putting something sustained together but the defense they responded on that play second and manageable became third and long the drive marching to the end zone is one play from stalling okay, out. Right. Ritter and the Falcons need an answer and a big play here on third and long following the sack. Back to throw. Rolling to his left. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. That certainly looks like nothing to show now from these first two possessions. And guess what? When you're on a losing streak, that can lead to a full sense of, here we go again. So on the sidelines, the offensive play callers, quarterback, they've got to get together and dial something up to start their next drive. Otherwise, it could be a long game. It's a return of five following a punt of 42 yards. And it will be Vikings ball first and 10. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had a field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> not one that I've ever met. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. 10-0, our score. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. On first and 10, here's Fields. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. When defenses get to the quarterback that quickly, a lot of times it's called a jailbreak. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough that he had no time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball. And as he tried to do that, he was hit and it forced an incompletion. Now a second and ten. Go. Fields now to throw. This one caught. It's the tight end, Hawkinson. A big play there for Minnesota. 55 yards. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. Now Fields going to move him around. They'll look to throw again. There's Hawkinson in the end zone. Touchdown, Vikings. A great play there. His first touchdown of the new season. And his guys now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. Extra point right down the middle. And that makes our score 17-0. Minnesota's kick team ready, and the Vikings boom it away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Watch walk. Slide through. Red cycle. Blaster six. Steel black. Ready, ready. On second down, Ritter. This one brought in by Jefferson. Now the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. 
Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. But I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They were starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Black Ultra. Go Ray. Claude Ray. Now Ritter to throw on first down. Short throw caught by Pitts. It'll be a gain of five, and it'll be second down. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Ritter now on second down, being chased out left. This ball down the field for Pitts, and that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. And they've been kept off the scoreboard in this first half, but here toward the end, they're trying to change that in one fell swoop, but that winds up incomplete. They come up now, third and five, following the incomplete pass. Well, everybody was up there ready at the line of scrimmage, CD, but no snap, and the delay of game ensued. Yeah, and I'm sure their head coach is asking the exact same thing. What's going on out there? Almost like they thought they had more time than actually was on the clock. Here we go. Delay of game penalty. Ships them back five yards, makes it third and ten. Six, mega. Ready. On play action, here's Ritter. He'll buy some time right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. They gave it a shot with a deep pass, but it wasn't going to work there. And now there's less time for them to try and get three before the half. Let's see what they dial up on this next snap. The offense staying out there. They look prepared to go here on fourth and ten. Hey, green. Oh, and they set the man in motion too late. This is going to be a delay. So a little tardy getting everyone set, and the clock hits zero before they could snap it. Yeah, you can take your time and use the clock and try and get set up, but once it gets near five seconds, that's when you often hear a quarterback yelling, hurry, hurry, to make sure everybody's ready to get ready, the snap ready. off. They'll break the huddle here and go for it. This is fourth down. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. Ritter looking to throw here on fourth. Gonna let one fly for Robinson. And that's caught inside the 30. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. 38. Hey, red. Cut, cut. Another throw coming up here for Ritter. Escaping the pressure right. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Makai Blackman's got it. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports.
Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. A very one-sided first half. 17-0 our score as we get going in quarter number three. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons offense at the line. And that first half, one to forget really on both sides of the ball. They got to find some way to string something together here, don't they? Yeah, they're down big right now. So as you mentioned, trying to find something to string together, get some consistency, something sustained, maybe calm their whole team down and find a way to get back in this one. Yeah, because right now you're down big, you're being shut out. Let's see if this is the drive that kind of kickstarts them. Back to Robinson now on first down. And some room to roam now. And this defense just being manhandled here to start the drive. Good push up front. Two big runs. This one 18 yards and another first. Seemed like a couple sets of eyes were on the quarterback. So he decided, hey, I'm going to hand this off. Got a good gain out of it. And you know you need good blocking up front in order to gain yardage. But every one of these RPOs, if you do it right and they look the same, whether it's handed off inside or the quarterback keeps it, that allows you to fool the defense so often. And in this case, fooled them with the inside run. A pretty good looking run there on first down. That'll go for nine yards, just short of the line to gain. You know what really fires up offensive linemen? When the guy that is carrying the ball behind them can create his own space and break a tackle along the way. Second down and a yard. Again, it's Robinson. And some strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. The 71 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. All right, I got to ask you, with these RPOs, essentially the quarterback has three options, right? So what's different from that versus the triple option that we see the service academies run at the college level? As a general rule, the triple option at the college level, most things are called outside of the quarterback faking it to the runner and then keeping it himself and maybe having a trail back. What I mean is, in the NFL, that option to throw the football. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. Ritter sliding out of the pocket. And he's got this to Jefferson. And he's going to be taken down. But there's a penalty flag in the backfield. Is this a hold or did they rough the quarterback? So roughing the passer there, a big mistake defensively. Yeah, and even though you've got a quarterback out of the pocket and the Here rules change back. downfield, that doesn't mean the same rules don't apply with the QB. Anything more than one step, they're going to throw a flag on you every time. He don't blue. Ready, ready. Ritter will set up to throw it. And he's going to go down. Sacked back at the 13-yard line. So first down went in the wrong direction. They're at the 13-yard line. Here's second and goal. Now Ritter going to change up the look. That's out quickly to London. Only three yards there on the completion. That'll lead to a third and goal. Ritter back to throw. Steps away to his left. 
Now throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. I'm sure it was a tough halftime trying to figure out some strategy to get things going. Trailing by a lot when they went into the locker room. He's just trying every avenue to spark his team here to begin the third quarter. Not a lot going on on that play, though. Koo knocks this one through the post. And they're on the board at least here. It's now 17-3. to So a good drive there to begin quarter number three, but they're only able to shave three points off the lead. Well, something's better than nothing. All right, they didn't play particularly well in the first half, but they definitely need him to step on the accelerator now and play a whole lot better. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And they have to be pleased with the way that they move the football thus far. And why wouldn't they be? Two touchdowns on a field goal in their first three possessions. They're playing so well right now, the field goal probably feels like a disappointment. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets them to second and four. Brings up second and four at the 31-yard line. They'll fake the handoff. Now Fields. Oh, he's got a man wide. Been complete. And yeah, they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. That one good for 26 and a first down. To throw his fields. They'll roll him out right. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Now, I know it's an emotional game, Charles. You can't do that. And when you get into your film sessions and you argue your case with your coaches, that's exactly what they say at the end. You just can't do it. It costs your team. Now a first down throw, Fields. Throw left side, taken in by Jefferson. And down inside the 15 he goes. One play action, Fields. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. The first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Buying time to his left, pushing through the contact. Flash those fast feet, but they'll drop him at the five-yard line as he can't get any closer to the end zone. Straight ahead, here's the Wangu. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Minnesota. Kene Nwangu, his third rushing touchdown of the year. And the Vikings are able to extend their lead in the final seconds of this third quarter. Extra point was hooking, but he does make it through. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Ready. Now a handoff to start it out. Robinson. And he'll be taken down after a decent gain, and that will bring us to the end of this third quarter of play. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Ready. Ball on the 27. Here's a second down and four. Ritter now. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. We've seen this quite a few times in this game. Offensive line unable to keep leverage, unable to keep people away, facing a lot of pressure. Fortunate, fortunate just to get rid of it. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Black Ultra. Claude Ray. Hunt, hunt. Looking to throw it here. Ritter. That's out wide here for Robinson. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. 
It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. Ritter with it after the play fake. Rolling to his right. Now on the run. He'll throw it back deep over the middle. And he bats it away and it falls down incomplete. That's coverage you'd expect to see in a tie game late. Not in a lopsided game like this. They are not letting up. Second and ten. Now a quick throw into the hands of Jefferson. Five yards, now it's third and five. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Mega, mega, 10 cycles. Ready? Ritter from the gun on third down. Now throw right side here, going to be incomplete. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. On the set. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Ready? Gotta try it here. He's back to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And he gives himself up, but not before he gets the conversion. So this drive gonna continue following the conversion on fourth. Here's first and ten. Out of the gun, they give to Robinson. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. 87 yards on the ground for him now as he has gotten better, really, as the night's going on. Out to his left. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Nowhere to go downfield, but he's able to get out of bounds and stop the clock here with a first down. As he came to the line of scrimmage, he knew he didn't need much to reset the chain, so when he saw the space he needed, no hesitation. He went to the marker and got his guys a first down. Ritter looking to throw on first and 10. Dancing to his left. And that'll be incomplete with the penalty marker down as well. And I think he was beyond the line of scrimmage when that ball left his hand. So the illegal forward pass also costs him a down, and now it's second and long. Ritter now looking to throw it this time. Forced out to his left. And a big loss here as he's taken down. The defensive end, Daniil Hunter, drops him. I remember throughout my career here, defensive coaches always say, guys, you got to earn the right to rush the passer. Well, they put themselves in a great spot with this big lead, and they know they've got to throw the ball. These pass rushers have to be salivating. It is pin your ears back time indeed. Now on third and forever, he'll look to throw. Under pressure, and they got to him again. Daniil Hunter able to record his fifth sack of the season. My man, it's been a rough night for that offensive line, and it's only getting rougher. Five sacks now that they've given up in this contest so far. It feels like the witching hour out here, doesn't it? Okay, stupid question. What's the witching, witching hour? Yeah, the witching hour. That's when everything goes haywire late at night. Ready? And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. Blue strike. 
Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Okay, right. So they're going to come to the line here, and it appears Cycle. trying to go for it on fourth. Red, cycle. Yellow, zoom. Blaster, six. Jet, jet. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Now he'll let it go deep right side. That is incomplete. The Falcons go for it, but it doesn't work out. And the Vikings, they have the football now in excellent field position. So they've converted their first two fourth down attempts. Not there. Now they're two for three. You think maybe the offense coordinator expended a little capital on that one? <laughs> you know, when you're two for yeah. two, they could lobby confidence. for that third one, right? Didn't get it there. Maybe now the head coach might not be so eager to go for it as we go forward. And now they're in the hurry up. Fields on first down. He's got his man. It's taken in for a Viking touchdown. A great effort there. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Vikings are closing in on a third straight victory to start the campaign. Now it's looking incredibly likely to be a 3-0 start to this season. That is obviously excellent. 2-0 is one thing. 3-0, you really... Oh, and now they're going to fake it. And would you believe it? This is caught in the end zone and the fake extra point works to extend their lead by two minnesota's kick team ready and the vikings boom it away and this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone and he'll be brought down shy of the 20 so the decision to bring it out of the end zone not a good one The Atlanta ready. offense out there for their next drive. And they unfortunately are staring at a mini losing streak developing, trailing here in the fourth quarter. This would be their third straight defeat. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. Yeah, four C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. On third down, Robinson. This defense not budging. Back-to-back -back carries of just two yards. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The offense is going to stay out there. They've converted twice, failed once so far on fourth down. Let's see what's in store here. Ritter from the gun. He'll buy some time right. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. On first and 10, it's Robinson. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. Now the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Ritter to throw it. Steps away. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. The plan was clearly to challenge that by sending a blitz on second down, but even the extra guys couldn't catch him in the backfield, though. He doesn't scramble for a first, but he does get the last laugh by baiting the blitz and getting beyond the line of scrimmage. 
Robinson up the middle. And this will be a Falcons first down as the tackle made just shy of the 40. They're going to hurry back to the line now. On first down, Ritter. He's going to let it fly. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Andrew Booth picks it off, and the Vikings are going to take over at their own 30-yard line. They'll take over first and 10 at their own 30-yard line. Here we go, son. The Minnesota offense about ready to get this next drive underway. They're looking at a third straight win here if they can hold on. Sliding out of the pocket. Now he's going to throw deep right side. Oh, what was he thinking there? It's easily intercepted. And the Falcons are going to have great field position here as this is returned just shy of midfield. Very good starting field position for the Falcons offense as they come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 49. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. So they'll accept that penalty, and that'll, of course, move the football up the field. Now Ritter to throw on first down. Flush to his right. This ball down the field for Pitts. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. Well, these guys are not going to go out with their tails between their legs. They're going to keep taking their shots until the clock's at triple zeros. But that one, like a lot of others, winds up incomplete. Red, red. Green jack. Fury, yellow. Here's Ritter. That's down the field for Jefferson. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by a Caleb Evans. And the Vikings come up with a late turnover, but it will probably only matter to the statisticians as this ball game is now officially over.